this is the base formation that we use here. Um, we have about six or seven formations that are in the playbook that we use. This is the one we feel is the most advantageous to us as an offense and gives the defense the most problems. Probably also the most used across the country into the NFL as a formation uh, with this personnel set in this uh, set that we're trying to utilize here. Um, just kind of going through and explaining who these people are in our offense. All right, this is our quarterback. And when I say quarterback, okay, this can be either a quarterback, it can be your true quarterback, it can be a receiver, it can be whoever you deem is the best person to run this out of. Whether it's a running back, receiver, quarterback, we mix it up here, like I've said before, and use different people at that position. But this is the Q position. All right. Up front, these are our five offensive linemen. We have the left guard, center, right guard, right tackle, and now this is our left tackle over. Okay, he's the left tackle over now. With the wide receiver on the line of scrimmage to this side, obviously the tight end would be ineligible, so we just move the tackle over to this side. Okay. Like I spoke about before, not necessarily just to gain an advantage with a blocker on the front side as it is now to have our tight end on the back side here. Having our tight end on the back side now creates a passing threat, a vertical threat, a flat threat to the back side of where the action is coming from. Okay? To the back side of where the action is coming from. The first motion of this offensive play, of any of the plays we're going to run, we're going to see on film here shortly, the, ign the igniter of this play, the first thing that's going to happen is this wide receiver is going to come in motion across the heels of the quarterback. Now, we use a wide receiver here. Again, this can be a running back. It can be whoever. It can be an offensive lineman if you think that's the fastest person on your team. But this is a wide receiver who we feel like is the fastest guy on our team because now we get this guy coming across running our jet sweep. Now we've made the defense have to honor a fast guy working to get the ball outside. Working to get the ball outside here. We're telling him we're not giving him necessarily a landmark. We're not giving him a point he has to go. We're telling him he's running as fast as he can across the hills of the quarterback. He's, make, he's taking that exchange from the quarterback, and now he is running. He is running. Okay? In our offense, in, again, in this formation, this is a blocker. This is a blocker, whether it's a fullback, running back, whoever. But this for us is a fullback or sometimes a second tight end, depending on the formation personnel group we have in the football game. These now are two wide receivers to this side, both eligible passing threats, both eligible passing threats. Something we think about here and we like to do is the guy that's inside, the closest guy to the action here because of the jet sweep, we would rather him be our best blocking wide receiver because this is the guy at times that's going to have to go in, he's going to have to dig out defenders, he's going to have to get in there, he's going to have to get on safeties, get on linebackers that may be extended, crack on guys that are bigger than him. But all this being said, where we need that guy's the best blocker, this is also the guy that's going to come open in the play action. This is the guy that's going to sell the block, sell the block, sell the block, and then able to run his seam routes, his vertical routes, his high-release post now off of that same action.